action, inaction. It's a spectrum. Bruce Lee said, knowing is not enough. You must apply. Willing is not enough. You must do. Taking action is fundamental. As you navigate life, you will encounter a pivotal choice, action or inaction. But it's not merely a binary decision. It's a spectrum that defines your drive, productivity, and ultimately your success. Every decision you make places you somewhere on the action spectrum. Sometimes you lean more towards action, pushing boundaries, making things happen. Other times you're more reserved, taking a step back to reflect or wait for the perfect moment. But to succeed, you need to have a high bias action. Recently, I was at a mastermind in LA and I witnessed this spectrum in action. I was sharing an Airbnb with my friends, Brian and Curtis, who have contrasting biases to action. My bias to action is off the charts silly, probably a little stupid. What comes with it is burnout, rush decisions, and falling for shiny object syndrome. My friend Curtis pointed out the problem. Say no to more things, to say fuck yes to the target goals. He's right, I'm dropping some projects and going deeper into the ones that matter. I've written about that in my newsletter. Brian on the other hand has a low bias action. He's a deep thinker, a competitive strategist, but sometimes overthinking hampers progress. So we made a pact. He committed to publishing a landing page within days. Accountability, my friends, is the key. Curtis embodies intentional bias to action. He knows when to go high and to at a mature pace. His journey is marked by deliberate action. It's a testament to his strategic mindset and consistent regular progress. The three common barriers to action I see are fear of failure, analysis paralysis, and a lack of self-belief. But you don't need to be afraid. There are five ways to overcome these barriers. First, start small. Don't aim for a marathon if you've never run a mile. Set manageable bite-sized goals that allow you to be consistent and let the compounding do the work. Reframe failure. See it as a learning opportunity, not a dead end. Remember, every setback has a lesson hidden in it. Limit overthinking. Set a timer for decision making. It's a simple trick to push yourself into action mode. Build self confidence. Engage in self affirmations. Surround yourself with positive influences and remind yourself of your past successes. Use accountability partners. Share your goals with someone you trust. Having someone to check in with can motivate you to keep moving forward. Above all else, remember that action is a choice and it's up to you to make it happen. So what action are you going to choose today? Until next time, I'm Clint Murphy and this is The Growth Guide.